Tosky Center being a living laboratory. And it really is in the true sense of the words. It's a place where students from the university could come and learn about sustainability. We have four areas of concentration uh, at the McCoskey Center. One is sustainability education. Uh, another one is community outreach. A third one is the market garden. And the fourth one is design and development of the McCoskey Center property. We have a market garden that the students take care of and later on during the summer um, take the produce down to the local farmers market and then sell the produce. We have a second garden called the community plot garden where community members including uh, not only people from campus whether it would be uh, someone who wants on staff, faculty, student, but someone actually who lives in the community who for some reason cannot uh, have their own garden they have an apartment, they don't have any land. They can come here and for a nominal fee get a very nice sized plot and have their own garden from early April all the way through the end of October. The Kasi Center is very famous with her chickens, the gypsy chickens. Uh, we have 14 chickens right now. Students, faculty, community members come here and buy our eggs uh, from our chickens. What we started something last year was in addition to people just walking in and, and purchasing eggs, the uh, AVI food systems on campus has agreed to purchase our eggs as well. We are here to serve the community in the surrounding area as well as the schools and so we see both the general public coming here for programs, events, activities, to learn more about sustainability and how they can incorporate those ideas in their lives, in their homes, in their places of work. Uh, we also work with local schools who come here and the program we offer ties directly into their curriculum at their school. In Pennsylvania there are standards for environment ecology and within those standards, there are um, sections for agriculture and society and environmental health. And those are great areas where we can help local schools meet those criteria. Mm -hmm. the, the tour for the elementary students, middle school students, is an introduction to sustainability. It's looking at renewable energy sources. It's looking at recycled materials. Mm -hmm. It's looking at the use of reclaimed materials, that how things are built using materials that are all just already on site. 